morning boys and girls it's another wonderful sunday we thank the lord for the gift of life so last week we learned about discipline the choices that we make i hope last week you did your work you did your assignment as it will be more said so now before we start our service let me pray for us we thank you god for the day we thank you for the gift of life we thank you for this time that you are going to worship you my father we also thank you dear lord for the lesson that you are going to have today we bless you my father be glorified in Jesus name amen now it's time for praise and worship let's welcome our praise and worship team to apigie ma coffee za many praise god boys and girls amen let's get ready to dance for the lord go to a time of worship let us thank him for the gift of life let us thank him for what he's doing into our life as we lift up our uh, hands up and worship him so let us give him glory and honor for his god and there is none like him as we say ametupa ibada tumwabudu and there is none like him so let's pray as we thank him for what he's doing into our lives many fanya ibada ni kwa budu umeni
name amen boys and girls how are you doing today so I want a favor from you guys so let's just close our eyes as we breathe in out breathe in out thank you so today we have a special sermon for the day so I'll ask us to close our eyes again as I'll be counting from 1 to 10 are we ready? Now let's close our eyes. Hey, what on Nyangalia? Let's close. Okay. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Tada! Kazi ni kazi. Usichague kazi. Kazi ni kazi. Mungu atabariki. Nyinyi Mwana anapanga vitu alafu mnapangwa. Alafu naongea na bado na sisi na mpira. Hebu simameni hapo hivyo. Mwana anapanga vitu alafu mnapanganisha. Si ni kazi yako. Atakaa ni kazi yangu. Si ati mimi kazi yangu mimi napanga vitu alafu mnaanza kupanganisha. Si dad na mama nakulipanga. Na hii corona huu ulisikia wapi? Hebu tokeni hapa hivi nifanye kazi yangu mnipese pesa. Wii! Kasti. Wa. Utasikia pastor ni tu kabisa hadi mpasue roho yangu. Tusikio mama anakuja hapo unasema nini na Siliwaambia Ango Nini endelea Nilikwacha kufanya kazi za nyumba what is happening eh Una just takuwa na kulipa mshahara ya bure from today you are no longer working in this house okay bring the apron atukuitaji tena we don't we no longer need your service sawa Okay? So from today, you will 
you will only take the you will take the responsibilities of which Kirsten, you will do the mopping and Fabian you will do the house cleaning okay sawa sawa here is the apron na nikitoka kazi nipate nyumba ni safi okay sawa sawa Fabian nini kazi yako hii yote? Mimi ni ujui yako na nalikwambia uchukue boli yangu. Sasa hizi ningekuwa nacheza ball huko nje. Si ni wendo ulianisha nyumba. Si ni wendo ulianza. Mimi hadi mimi nimechoka. Hata mimi nimechoka. My son, why are you so tired? Hey, daddy, I'm going to At you, mechoka? What about you, my lovely girl? Imagine, daddy, mm -hmm. my mother lived with Anko, and she told me to do everything in the house. Eh? Uh -huh. mm. Eh. Uh -huh. Now, uh, I want you to sit there and rest. Sawa, sawa. And make sure that you listen to my Bible lesson of today. Na juwa sa hizi venye watutu wako nyumbani, mukona problem na responsibility. Daddy, na si Anko alilipwa kazi yote ndo wakua nafanya kwa... Pesa zote kwa nyumba ndo wakua nafanya. Yes. Kaa pale, uskize by bolesoni yangu ya leo. Boys and girls, uh, praise God. I know you are doing well at home. It's also a wonderful Sunday that we want to speak about responsibility. Uh, last week's lesson was about discipline. And I believe that uh, in one area or another, you have been able at least uh, to show discipline. So uh, you will ask, what is responsibility? As boys and girls, uh, we are sitting home. Uh, we have uh, activities that we are supposed to do. We have duties and tasks that we are supposed to do. But we have seen from the play that some of the kids are not happy that parents you are giving them uh, responsibilities. Some of them are saying, we have ourselves that are helping. But uh, we want to learn from the Bible. And uh, a good example for us is Joseph. And uh, I want us to turn to the book of uh, Genesis, chapter, Genesis chapter 39, from verse 1 to 6. And the reason as to why I'm choosing Genesis as a good example for us is because Genesis was a reliable worker. And when I'm talking about reliable, Someone who is reliable is someone who you can depend on. And these kids that we are sitting home with, we need to depend to these kids. So Genesis, I'll read. Parents, help our kids open the book of Genesis, chapter 39, from verse 1 to 6. Are we there? Children, are we there? Okay, I'll read. Now, Joseph had been taken down to Egypt. Potiphar, an Egyptian who was on who was one of Pharaoh's official, the captain of the guard, bought him from the Ishmaelites, who had taken him there. Verse 2, the Lord was with Joseph so that he prospered and he lived in the house of his Egyptian master. 3, when his master saw that the Lord was with him and that the Lord gave him success in everything, he did. For Joseph found favor in his eyes and became his attendant. Potiphar put him in charge of his household and he entrusted to his care everything he owned. Five, from the time he put him in charge of his household and all of that he owned, the Lord blessed the household of the Egyptian because of Joseph. The blessing of the Lord was on everything Potiphar had both in the house and in the field. Six, so Potiphar left everything he had in Joseph's care. With Joseph in charge, he did not concern himself with anything except the food he ate. Praise God, children. From that story, the book of Genesis chapter 39, from verse 1 uh, to 6, 
We are learning that uh, Joseph was sold by his brothers to Potiphar because his brothers were jealousy. And when he was in the slave land, he was a slave in Potiphar's house, we can see very clearly that Joseph was put on responsibilities. And the Bible is telling us that Joseph did all his responsibilities well. And as children, there's something very important I also want us to understand is that Potiphar was pleased with Joseph because he did a good job working. This is the question I will ask you. Are your parents satisfied with you? Are they happy when they give you tasks or duties? I will give you an example of a task. For example, your parent can say, I want you to brush your teeth. Brushing your teeth is a responsibility, but it's also your responsibility to brush your teeth. Praise God. So, we are learning that Pontifar did, did not have to worry whether Joseph would do everything he was supposed to do. I know our parents are always worried when they leave us at home. Some of them, they, are not, uh, they don't concentrate on what they are doing at their workplace because we are at home. They are worried because they are not sure if you will be able to do the task that you are supposed to do. There are also things that uh, things would have been different if Joseph had been lazy or unreliable. If Joseph was lazy while working in Potiphar's house, maybe things would have been different, but we are learning that God blessed Joseph and he also blessed the house of Potiphar. Everything that Joseph did, the Lord was with him. Praise God, children. This week, I was able to meet some of the children in Sunday school. I asked them a few questions on what are some of their responsibilities at home. So I want us to hear uh, on what they said about that. My, du my duties at home are washing dishes, washing, my, washing our clothes, cooking, and sweep, mopping our house. My duties at home, I take care of our, of our children and I wash utensils, I sweep our house and mop and I go to fetch water. My responsibility is taking care of the baby, and sweeping the house, washing utensils, cleaning the house, mopping the house, taking care of my brothers, and washing clothes. My responsibilities at home is helping my mother, washing utensils and mopping the house and going to the shop. My duties at home are washing clothes, washing utensils, sweeping the house and mopping the house. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, we have heard on how some of our friends and uh, uh, relatives do their job at home. Uh, those are very good uh, example of the responsibility that we have as children. I know some of these responsibilities requires us uh, to do when parents are watching us. For example, cooking. Uh, when you're so young, I know you cannot be able to cook at your own. I know some of us or some of you children can do some of these responsibilities on your own, for example, cleaning the house. So I want you to be encouraged that uh, 
when Joseph was working in Potiphar's house, God watched over him and gave him success in all that he did. So, young boys and girls, be encouraged that God is watching and is going to give you success in everything that you are doing at home. Praise God, children. And lastly, uh, we want to look at our memory verse of today. Today I have two memory verses. Two memory verses. They are very short. And throughout the week, kindly try every day that you can memorize these verses. Uh, the first memory verse, the first memory verse, the book of Ephesians chapter 6, verse 1. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 1. It says, children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. The second memory verse is Colossians chapter 3, verse 20. It says, children, obey your parents in everything, for this pleases the Lord. And now, before I finish, I want to make sure if my children here have been able to understand what are responsibilities and how they have been able to do these responsibilities at home. Come on, Kadad. Yes. Hey, Mambo. What? Now, tomorrow, I'm going to work very early in the morning. Are we together? Yes. So, via Tuzangu, make sure Zimenga. Are we together? Yes. Baisikeli yangu, make sure pia imenga? Imengara. Sawa sawa. Mm. Tai yangu, yekwe mali kwenye shati. Mm. Aya, you see, this is now what I'm talking about. You don't even know right now your responsibilities. Eh? Sasa we ujipange, mujipange, mama kikuja, mumupange. Are we together? Surprise! Eh, na mameno nye angefanya ikazi peke yake bila mimi. Nona adi mlifanya adi mameno waka nifukuza hape hivi. Sababu ya kupanguanisha vitu zenye napanga. Nino, nye. So, eh, nye mameno angeza kufanya bila mimi. Haka nipigia simu, kabidi nimetoko shago. Imagine nitoko shago na mbukinya. Hey. Hey, adi ni vizuri anko umekuja. Ati ni vizuri nimekuja, unasema nino yewe. Mwajua, nika huku kuna sikiliza senye ticha na fundisha kuhusu responsibilities. Eh, kumbe We, anko una... vizuri sana. Kumbe anko una choka anga hivyo. Wana choka sana. Unye alafu kazi yenu tu nikuja hapa kupangwanisha vitu za yemi na panga. Si tumechoka one day na tuko awili. Sasa, ni vizuri umejua mtu wana choka kifanya kazi. Nataka eh. leo hapa hivyo tu share responsibilities. Kasti, nitaka wende ufanya nini? Leo na kupandisha, na kupandisha, na kufanya nini? Na kupandisha cheo. Ndaka wendo fanya nini? Wash hizo vyombo za wageni. Zile mm. unakumuka zile glass. Jika me sazi na jozi kwa na vumbi japanguzwa sana. Eh. Wendo zipangu. Na uchunge. Hizo mm. glass uchunge sana nza mama. Eh. Alafu Fabian. Mm. Yoba isikili ya baba po inje. Uipanguze. Bado mkwa hapa hivi mgekua msha ya enda. Cheni mini fanya nini? Nimalizi hapa kazi yangu. <coughs> hey Kasti we unapake. Woi Kasti unamuye nimalizi ya kazi. Kasti nini unapanyo kwa jikoni? Hello, thank you so much for interacting with our uh, social media content. Maybe you're there looking for a church or you gained interest about our church and you'd like to, to join and become a member of the church. We want you to send your phone number and your name to our WhatsApp line. We'll get in touch with you and show you how you can be a member of this amazing church. Let's change the world together.